I love this verse in Genesis 5, 24. And Enoch walked with God and he was no more. You know, I like to. Have a, I like to play with words and I love. This concept, Enoch walked with God and he was no more. So I thought about it. What was he no more of? Enoch walked with God and he was no more afraid. Enoch walked with God and he was no more lonely. Enoch walked with God and he was no more empty. Enoch walked with God and he was no more worried. Enoch walked with God and he was no more insecure. Enoch walked with God and he was no more in uncertain. Enoch walked with God and he was no more self-centered. Enoch walked with God and he was no more afraid of missing out. It wasn't where he was walking, but it was who was walking with him. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you see, David's not saying I fear no evil because I'm always walking down the right road. He's saying I fear no evil for thou art with me. And he's he's announcing that even though he's walking through the valley of the shadow of death, how many know you're not always on the right road? You're not always on a road of, that you that you're excited about. He's talking about being on a road called the road of the valley of the shadow of death, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why will I fear no evil? Because I'm not walking through the valley. No, it's because of who's walking with me in the valley. For thou art with me. When we get a hold of that, we're no longer afraid of missing out because I'm not trying to make sure I just make it to the right roads all the time. I'm not trying. I'm not focused on just making sure that I never mess up and I never make a wrong decision. The fear of making all these bad decisions only further causes more bad decisions. But when you when you decide, you know what, it's no longer about me making all the perfect decisions and me walking down the perfect path and never making a mistake on which path or which runway I land on. As long as you can land. It doesn't matter which runway it is, as long as you can land safely. Hallelujah. Nobody cares if a plane has got some turbulence. Nobody cares which runway the plane lands on. And in fact, if it's bad enough, nobody cares what airport it lands at. I've been on planes where I thought it doesn't matter. Just land this thing right now. I know we got three more hours to go, but you somebody needs to t land right now. Let us all off so we can just hit the ground, kiss the ground and thank God that that plane didn't crash. When you know who's with you, it doesn't matter. What went wrong in your life? He will make it better. His presence makes the difference. There is our future. Enoch walked with God and he was no more. That's it. That's our present. That's our future. Enoch walked with God. That's our present. Then he was no more. That's our future. God took him away. That's our future. He will take us out one day and in his time, in his way. And it will be glorious. Until then, our present is to do what it says. Enoch walk with God, the God taking us and us being no more. The timing is up to God. The walking is up to us to realize he is with us. Emmanuel, God with us. Holy Spirit, God in us. Abba, Father. God for us.